Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and I've got another gear review for you. This time I was very excited to see that our friends at Brainworks have once again teamed up with Universal Audio to create another great guitar amp simulation. This time they've gone for the Chandler Limited GAV19T. Now I've had the very great fortune of being able to use this amp in anger in real life. Um, the real thing is a... I suppose they become known as studio amps, really. Very small, um, lower watt, less powerful um, amps that you can really juice up in real life, and they sound amazing. This thing is um, all valve, 19 watts, only 19 watts, and it's absolutely incredible. Uh, however, the recreation that Brainworks have done is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you through the front end of things and let you hear how this thing sounds and trust me you will be blown away um okay so here we are it's a beautiful looking amp in real life and they've done a great job of recreating it front panel controls are in fact very very simple we have our on off switch of course which is basically a bypass standby once again the real thing has it so they have one on here there's this intense and normal switch which is the kind of shape like, almost like a, a preset gain stage over here we have our high and normal gain inputs over here we have our input stage. Now there's an input gain control and you also have this bias switch which goes through five levels. Now the one thing about the JAV19T is it's designed to sound very English, kind of Selma, Watkins, Vox, Marshall-esque. And all those have a different valve bias preset by the manufacturer. Uh, and that's what they've done, aimed to do here. So they've got this bias switch which allows us to make um, the amps sound more Voxy, more Marshall-y, however you like it. Um, Basic controls, is studio amps generally are very simple, uh, so just bass and treble controls. We then have our drive section, and this controls, or in the real world, would control only the output section of the amp. So this is where you get your real power and your real boost, which is another great thing why these smaller amps sound so much better. The less power, but you really are driving the valves really, really hard, or tubes to you that on the other side of the pond. Um, Tone control is really, really cool. There's a basically a bypass and out switch, treble boost, thick, aggressive, and mids. And this changes the way and the characteristics of the mid and high sections of the amp. And obviously we have the boost section. So very cool, sounds great. But also, if I hit this button up here, we get to the effects section. Now the one thing Neil and I are always banging on about is amp modeling and cabinet modeling and things like that. They've done a really great job on cabinet models and also we do have a very large selection of mics, cabinets and many and various other goodies to go along there. So we literally once you've got the head sound you want you can then mix and match with um, different cabinet configurations, different mics, different mic configurations. It's a very very flexible tool. There's a gate built in, which is kind of handy to keep the noise down. Really very tasty analog delay section. Here's our input gain to make sure we get the right level into the amp. And a power soak, which again has that kind of effect of bringing the overall volume down, but being able to keep the juice and keep, keep the kind of valve tone up. So the important thing is to hear what this thing sounds like. So what I'm going to do is go through some of the presets, and I'll show you how changing mainly the tone and the bias can really affect how this thing sounds. So let's go through some of the presets and see how this thing sounds out of the box. So it starts off clean and gets super dirty later on. So we're going to start with a kind of stratty clean sound and see what we end up. Just so you know, I am playing through my 89 Strat Plus with lace sensors. So um, you should be able to tell if we get any really beefy stuff out of this thing, it's all being done by the amp, not by the guitar. <laughs> Really nice country sort of tone.
Let's try this tone function. Tone off. Let's mess with the bias. You can definitely tell how, as you get towards on the bias setting, that sort of four and five, things get a lot more voxy and marshy. On the other end of things, we've got the kind of Selma and the sort of the cleaner sounds of things. Um, very, very flexible little amp. I mean, everything from valvey, gritty, little bit dirty, all the way up to. Let's go a little bit more. Um, let's go for some um, Jeff jazz. <laughs> does to this one. So getting a bit more, a bit more gritty, a bit more filthy. Um, so what have we got up here? Let's go um, towards something like this. <laughs> overdrive pedal in the front end. The delays are absolutely fantastic. The delays sound really natural. They they sound guitar ampy. What can I say? And my favourite on here so far, I think because I like the more high gain guitar sound. I'm not a good enough guitarist really to get away with the sort of the crunchy stuff. I like that kind of big, um, juicy Marshall plexi kind of sound. This sort of thing. <laughs> that up a little bit more.
I love the way you get all the characteristics of playing through a big amp without the grief of actually having to have a big amp set up. Um, so that's a very, very brief overview of the GAV19T. I think this thing sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, it will definitely be one that's added to my arsenal. Um, so check it out for yourselves. If you are a UAD2 user, you can download the demo for 14 days for free and get hooked on it like I am doing after two days. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to use this opportunity to blow through a bit of a track. Um, and if you have liked what you've heard so far, check this thing out. I've been James, and I'll see you again soon for another gear review.